evaluating common logs without using a calculator. Alright, so all you have to do is use the relationships to solve for the missing value. Alright, so this is common log form right here. Alright, and this is base form. So a lot of times um, people are more used to using this exponent form because we start learning this at a much earlier age, right? Logs generally aren't introduced until about Algebra 2, but these are since, like, I don't know, grade school sometime. All right, so the log of 0 0.001 is equal to what? So what we need to do is move this to this form, all right? So remember, this right here is, I call it the log value, right? That would be the answer or the right side of the equation in the exponent form. And since this is a common log, um, we know that the base is 10. Okay, we know it's a common log because there's no number here. Okay, all right, so if there's no number here, then you need to assume that the base is 10. All right, so now we have to figure out, okay, so what is the exponent here? Well, I, I want to move this decimal all the way over here, okay, until we get to one non-zero digit to the left of the decimal. And in order to do that, I have to move it three times. Okay, and since I'm moving it this way, exponent's negative three. Okay, and an easy way to remember that is that the number is really small, right? So that's why the exponent would be negative. If this was a really big number, like, I don't know, 10,000, then the exponent would be positive, right? And that completes the problem.